These young people meeting at Zurich's main railway station have arrived from all over the world. What they have in common is a Swiss passport. They're Swiss living abroad, and they're here on a summer camp to learn more about the languages and culture of the country their parents or grandparents left behind. So far, they're quite impressed by Swiss trains. I like them a lot. Yeah, yeah they're much fun. They're way better than um, how we Americans do. They're much cleaner and they're easier to take, I think. Faster. Faster. Next stop is the National Museum, a Zurich landmark. They were shocked to learn that once this pristine park was a big drug taking spot, full of heroin addicts. Zurich is an interesting place, but in such hot weather, it's hard to keep them focused on anything besides a swim in the lake. Well, we, we will have a swim in the lake. So good, yeah. I look forward to it. Okay. When? <clears throat> huh? When? We're not the end of my tour. How long is that? Huh? How long is that? <laughs> Sorry, kids, you must be patient. Many of the students say they'd like to live here. I, I would, I would want to live here. Like I don't like America and things like that, but I like, I like everything here. So I would want to, but I can't really because of the college system in America. You can't. I feel like it's so different. You can't really go from one to the other. I think it's so much more peaceful here than over like where I live and. The scenery is so beautiful, and I think everything's just, it's a lot more convenient here. And I can actually get out on my own here, unlike I can't, unlike at home. Like in America, it's really big, so it takes a long time to get to other countries. And I, it's really cool because the town that I'm staying in right now, I can take like the train like a couple hours and be in France already. The group is then taken to Paradeplatz, Zurich's financial center. Actually, they already know a thing or two about Swiss banks, even that the government bailed out UBS in 2008. But in America, for example, some of their friends know nothing about Switzerland. Where is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it like, I don't know, in Asia or someplace? <laughs> Just, they don't, yeah. They don't know it exists, really. You say, oh yeah, my dad's from Switzerland. Oh, you're Swedish? No. Could you speak Switzerland? Yeah. They ask because they don't know that, you know, they speak German, French, and Italian here. So, yeah. Speaking of languages, in the morning they have German class. Ich hasse Kerry. Ich bin 15 Jahre alt. Every year, around 400 youngsters travel to Switzerland for a language course or a sport camp. The cost is reasonable, since the courses are sponsored by the organization of the Swiss Abroad. If the young students don't have family they can stay with, they live with host families. The organization says these courses are more and more popular. For them it's, uh, it's really great and we have uh, good feedbacks and it's interesting because they are um, keeping contact all over the world when they meet them together here in Switzerland in course. And also the feedbacks from, from the host families there, most of them are really positive. During the course, they also learn about traditional Swiss food. Mateus had already learned table manners from his mother, but that's about the only Swiss thing he can think of. In Brazil, we, we sat at the table differently, and here I always learned to put uh, all this, this this European style of putting the, the, the table that my mom always told me, but in Brazil it's all like messed up, you just throw everything on the table, so that's the only thing Swiss I have, They're all the rest is Brazilian. <laughs> Matthias loves Switzerland, but he still prefers Brazil, and is not interested in living here. But now he's learned one more Swiss thing. He can make alpine-style macaroni and cheese. Uh, those are cute. 